In the realm of financial success, the pathways of billionaires often appear shrouded in mystery. However, there exists a pattern, a blueprint, that many of today's wealthiest individuals seem to follow. This pattern isn't arbitrary. It's grounded in principles that stood the test of time. John D. Rockefeller, the world's first billionaire, was not just a titan of industry, but also a master of financial strategy. His journey from modest beginnings to amassing a fortune of unprecedented magnitude is a testament to the effectiveness of certain financial skills. In this exploration, we will delve into the intricate details of Rockefeller's financial acumen, deciphering the wisdom that propelled him to unparalleled success. Rockefeller's story begins in his formative years, growing up in a low-income family. The financial struggles of his family became the crucible where the first elements of his financial philosophy were forged. His mother, faced with the responsibility of managing the household finances in her husband's absence due to constant travel as a salesman, instilled in young John the habit of meticulous record-keeping. Even at the tender age of seven, he earned his first money by working on a neighbor's farm. Following his mother's advice, Rockefeller made his initial foray into financial management by recording every cent earned and spent in a ledger. This practice, akin to a modern cash flow statement, became a lifelong discipline. This early exposure to the importance of tracking money left an indelible mark on Rockefeller, shaping the foundation of his financial literacy. Later in life, when faced with the choice between pursuing a university education as his parents desired and opting for commercial college and accounting courses, Rockefeller chose the latter. This decision marked the beginning of his formal journey into the world of numbers and financial management. His love for numbers and financial acuity quickly garnered recognition, propelling him into the role of an assistant accountant. One of the prevailing myths in financial circles is the aversion to borrowing money. Many view borrowed funds as an evil to be avoided at all costs. However, Rockefeller's example challenges this notion. In his early business ventures, he strategically used borrowed money as a tool for growth. The pivotal moment came when he contributed $2,000 to the startup capital of his first business, borrowing $1,200 from his father. Rockefeller's strategic approach to borrowing extended beyond mere necessity. Even when he had sufficient funds, he preferred selling shares to investors, keeping his own money in reserve. This financial foresight allowed him to weather uncertainties and capitalize on emerging opportunities without depleting his personal resources. Contrary to the prevailing notion that only financially illiterate individuals embrace loans, Rockefeller demonstrated that borrowing wisely could be a potent strategy. His ability to navigate the financial landscape with borrowed funds played a crucial role in shaping the trajectory of his businesses. Rockefeller's success was not merely a result of amassing wealth, but also of meticulously fulfilling financial obligations. Each decision he made, particularly in the realm of borrowing, was carefully calculated. He ensured that he borrowed with a clear understanding of when and how he would repay, factoring in the potential returns on his investments. In his memoir, How I Made $500 Million, Rockefeller recounts instances where he met his financial obligations with precision. Even when faced with challenging circumstances, he always found a way to honor his commitments. This commitment to fulfilling financial obligations extended to all creditors, including his own father, who, at times, came for loan payments at less than ideal moments. Over time, this commitment to financial integrity solidified Rockefeller's reputation in financial matters. Bankers trusted his word, making him a preferred borrower. The lesson here is clear. Meticulous management of financial obligations and a sterling reputation are invaluable assets in the journey toward financial success. Rockefeller's financial success wasn't a result of random choices. It was a product of calculated decision-making. Whether it was borrowing money, investing in ventures, or managing his businesses, each decision was thoughtfully considered in advance. 
When Rockefeller invested, he calculated the potential returns on his investment. If he borrowed money, he factored in when and how he would repay it, considering the associated risks and rewards. This approach ensured that every financial move he made contributed to the overall growth of his wealth. A prime example of Rockefeller's calculated decision-making was his shift from hauling oil in wooden barrels on horseback to transporting it in tanks by rail. He revolutionized the industry by stopping the practice of saving on the safety of refineries. His innovative approach extended to building his own fleet for ore transportation when others deemed it too risky. Rockefeller's partners initially resisted his unconventional ideas, but his willingness to invest alone while sharing profits eventually swayed them. This not only demonstrated his confidence in the calculated decisions he made, but also showcased his ability to convince others of their viability. Rockefeller's financial success was not solely reliant on managing numbers. It was also fueled by innovations in business. He wasn't afraid to challenge established norms and invest in groundbreaking ideas. For instance, he was the first in the United States to transition from wooden barrels to tanks for oil transportation. When he began exporting oil, Rockefeller identified the need for efficient devices to transfer oil from tanks to tankers quickly. Rather than waiting for others to address the issue, he took the initiative and equipped necessary railway stations at his own expense. While it may have seemed like a charitable act on the surface, it became a strategic move, influencing a reduction in transportation tariffs and allowing him to transport oil by rail at a significantly lower cost than his competitors. Rockefeller's foresight extended to other industries as well. He invested in iron mines, and realizing the cost-effectiveness of transporting ore on ships rather than trains, built his own fleet. His partners initially hesitated, but Rockefeller's offer to shoulder the financial burden while enjoying all the profits convinced them of the viability of his ideas. In the tapestry of John D. Rockefeller's financial success, several threads stand out. From the early lessons in financial literacy instilled by his mother to the strategic use of borrowed funds, meticulous fulfillment of financial obligations, calculated decision-making, and groundbreaking business innovations, each element contributed to the creation of a financial empire. Rockefeller's story transcends the boundaries of his time. It offers timeless lessons for those aspiring to financial success. The blueprint he left behind isn't a complex formula known only to a select few. It's a set of principles grounded in financial wisdom. Whether you're an eighth grader with dreams of prosperity or an adult navigating the complexities of finance, Rockefeller's story serves as a beacon, illuminating the path to wealth through financial acumen, strategic thinking, and unwavering commitment. So, as you embark on your own financial journey, Remember the lessons from the life of John D. Rockefeller, lessons that have the power to shape destinies and build financial legacies. Thank you for watching. Please share your thoughts on our video in the comment section below. If you found it enjoyable, we encourage you to spread the word to your friends and give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it with your social circle on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter as well.